In a context of growing water scarcity, water accounting is a critical approach to set the information basis to achieve safe and sustainable water use. Effective water accounting allows water resource managers and farmers to determine the impacts of their strategies and practices and track the effects of changes. To summarise, the ability to effectively account for water use is essential in helping water authorities and farmers drive improvement and become aligned with external stakeholders' expectations, as well as their own efforts to advance sustainable water management, especially under water scarcity scenarios. We talk about uh, water accounting and we ask ourselves why that is important. And we ask ourselves that question at many different uh, scales. Uh, at the basin scale, at the irrigation district scale, at the farm scale. And we are not always aware of the importance of knowing the water that we use, we consume, and we return to the uh, system, to the hydrological system. Uh, we are not aware of the, of the importance at each level. So each responsible of water management at a given scale uh, has the need of knowing the water that is used for different reasons. One, because it, it costs money. Pumping, transporting water is costly. Second, because we deal with a uh, water resource that is limited. And third, because by not doing a good use of water, we can damage the environment where the uh, irrigation activity takes place. So uh, now we have to understand uh, in the water accounting process uh, the principle of the water balance. In the water balance, we distinguish different components. We have our resource, the water that we are applying to the field, and now we are going to focus on the field scale. Once it is on the field, that water is, is stored for, for a given time in the soil to be consumed by the plant, but not all the water that is applied is consumed by the plant. Part of that water is lost through the evapotranspiration process or it can return back to the hydrological system by deep percolation or surface drainage. So how can we evaluate these different components? Some of them are easy or relatively easy to measure. Others can be estimated with good accuracy. Others are really difficult to measure or estimate, so we make use of the water balance to compute our accounting. Uh, and we obtain those components as the residual of the water balance. That's why uh, the water balance equation is, is so important. Everybody has heard about different methods of estimating evapotranspiration. We are aware about the damage that we can cause with drainage water and deep percolation of water if it is loaded with agrochemicals. That's very difficult to, to evaluate. And what we do can do is to measure the applied water. And for that, we have to consider how the water gets to the, to the field and the irrigation method that we are using, in general, it's easier to measure the applied water if it comes through a pressurized pipe. Then we have very standard methods uh, based on, on a propeller, a current meter, or ultrasonic uh, principles, or the uh, magnetic uh, flow meters that can be installed at the uh, pipe in a proper uh, position and we can obtain the flow rate or the cumulative uh, applied water. That's not difficult anymore and um, it is being implemented 
in most modernized irrigation districts in many uh, Mediterranean uh, countries. Maybe the difficulty comes when we apply the water uh, using surface methods. Again, that is more complicated, but the principles uh, come from the old days when the hydraulics were developed, and now we can combine the classic hydraulics with water level sensors that can be used in a continuous uh, way recording uh, those water levels and give us for those flumes or weirs that are installed in the open channels measurements of flow rate but also the water that has uh, gone through that device in a given in a given time so there is no excuse for not measuring the applied water even when we have uh, open channels although we have to recognize that that is uh, more difficult as we've seen there are several options at different scales to account for water given its relevance more effort should be made by the different stakeholders to establish a proper water accounting system adapted to the local conditions that allow making informed decisions under water scarcity situations.